All right, what's going on? Today we're going to talk about October baits. It's October 2022. It's in the fall, early fall, not really fall by my standards, but it's definitely the start of it. The shad are moving, the fish are moving, everything's changing. Depending on where you are in the country, this is an extremely diverse time of year to be fishing. You know, if you're on the Tennessee River, it's all about the grass right now. The frog bite's phenomenal in the, in the mats. The puncher bite's really good. If you're up north, I think they're pitching a jig and a lot of mill full, a lot of stuff like that. I've got some pictures of people catching some really big ones on the ace up north recently, flipping it in, what, what's left of the grass and cabbage and mill full and all that stuff. So depending on where you are in the country, very, very diverse month for fishing. But for where I am in the southeast, it's all about chasing the shad. It's all about catching fish that are primarily on the shad they're sitting in places that are ready to ambush shad it's all about that type of stuff so your channel swings your deeper docks the last deep dock going into these backs of these pockets all this type of stuff can be really good fall places that you can catch some really big fish that are ambushing these shad but i'm gonna kind of walk y'all through the baits that i use this time of year a couple of them are a little bit newer and a couple of them are just tried and true everybody knows them everybody fishes with them so a lot of these baits though you're going to notice there's a profile that i'm looking for this time of year because a lot of the a lot of the lakes that i fish on have spotted bass in them and largemouth in them and this time of year a lot of times it's really difficult to catch five big largemouth so you're going to have to weigh in some of those two pound spots or two and a half pound spots in some of the tournaments i fish so i do fish a lot of tournaments when i'm home this time of year but if you really don't want to throw a bait that's going to catch mostly spots and you don't want to throw a bait that's going to catch mostly largemouth and won't catch any spots so you don't want to throw a huge big bulky jig like you might throw in march because the spots don't really eat it and you don't want to throw something just ultra finessey that are only going to catch the spots because you still want to catch some of those big largemouth so get right into it a lot of these baits are well a couple of these baits are newer like i said this is a gamakatsu weedless underspin hook with a 3.8 inch swim bait on back this is something i've not been throwing for that long to be honest with you but i really really like it i've found myself throwing this more and more and more this year than i ever have before and you know it's a really really good bait like they eat it surprisingly good like better than i thought they would but that's all it is it's got a little blade hanging down on a wire I'm throwing a three alt one right now on the on a 3.8 inch swim bait. So, 18 pound Sunline shooter, seven foot three medium heavy Envy, and this is the new 13 fishing Inception slide. So that's that's what I'm throwing that on. That that bait is just really good for imitating shad in the tips of trees, under docks, tips of brush piles, any type of place where you really want to imitate those shad, but you also want something weedless. So that's really really good one for that. Now another one that's a little bit newer is the Spro. Haint. This bait will be out next year. This is a topwater walking bait. I mean, it's really kind of a Sammy style bait, but because it has that more of a subtle walking action, but this one is really, really loud. It's the loudest topwater that still has a subtle action that I've ever used. So I've been catching them really good on that this fall. Started throwing it this year on the Mississippi River up there on the cross. Caught some really nice ones on it. And then since then, brought it home, been catching them on it ever since. So you know a walking bait is just a really good bait in the fall on these flat points, deep points, steep points, around docks, over brush piles, all that type of stuff. Anywhere these fish can be set up ambushing shad, a walking style topwater is a really, really good bait to throw this time of year. I did upgrade it to the Gamakatsu G Finesse medium heavy trebles so when those fish are swatting at it especially those spots those small mouth the large mouth seem to get a little bit better but the spots in the small mouth really swat at it i really like those g finesse trebles i feel like i just i mean i just stick them in the back of the head i stick them in the side sometimes i just seem to snag them a little bit more often when they're swatting that top water and end up landing those fish so i don't want to throw like an ewg style hook because if they eat it you land them really good but if they're swatting at it like they do this time of year the ewg just doesn't hook them quite as good so that's trip hook i throw on that this is a seven foot one medium omen rod this is a eight to one gear ratio inception and 30 pound sunline asaji Asaga, whatever you want to call it, X Plasma braid. That's you know the setup I use for throwing that topwater bait. Now, this one right here is the people's favorite, the choice. Everybody's everybody's favorite bait to throw. This is an ace jig. This is in dirty crawl color. You can see I got this skirt really really thin down. I actually caught one four pounds on this just uh, yesterday or the day before. I actually caught one four pounds on this exact same bait. So really cool. 
love this thing i've got it cut down to a weedless i mean not a weedless i got it cut down to like a finesse jig profile you see how i did the collar this thing is you know the skirt's pretty wore out on it but i trimmed that collar up to where it's like a uh like a finesse jig profile got a small little chunk on the back 20 pound sunline shooter this is actually a 3 8 downsize it just wanted just want a really small compact profile for this time of year but that's here right there that's the jig that i've been skipping around docks like i said spots love this thing and i've caught tons of four to five pound largemouth on this jig rigged exactly like this so it catches big spots it catches big largemouth we don't have any smallmouth down here but if we had them it would catch them and it does catch a show bass or two also so 20 pound sunline shooter seven foot two heavy fast envy and this is an eight to one gear ratio inception so 13 fish in inception so that's it a couple more baits that are just tried and true basically everybody knows these two but we're gonna go one, one at a time number one this is what i like to keep in my hand the most in the fall it's a buzz bait this is a lost river lures buzz bait i mean listen to this thing I mean, that is the sound you want from a buzz bait right there. It's really important. So the guy who makes these, good buddy of mine, he's like, like I said, Lost River Lures, this is their pro model buzz bait. I like how it goes up, how from, from the toad, there's a little bit of a up, kind of a bend in the, in the actual wire. So whenever you're skipping that bait across the, across the uh, water, everything, the blade, the wire, everything's kind of elevated on top of the toad. So it's really a system of skipping a buzz bait, but you want that bottom to hit like this, obviously. And then everything's elevated when there's that bend in it, so that's really good. Another thing, when those fish bite it, that toe's just a little bit deeper in the water, so they get a little bit better. So a lot of benefits to just having that little bend right there in the wire. It's also a really heavy gauge wire for a buzz bait. I like that, because I want to throw it on braid, I want to throw it in heavy cover, I want to be able to get those big fish out. So it's also really important, the blade, the rivet or crevice or whatever you want to call it this little device down here it's really important the material that's actually made out of and what type of you know the quality material that the wire is made out of to get this squeak out of it so this is a really good put together buzz bait i love this thing it's one i'm throwing all the time i throw it on 30 pound sunline x plasma asagai braid skipping it around getting in that heavy cover love that thing that's the bait that catches them from daylight to dark all day long everybody loves throwing a buzz bait and there's no reason not to i mean you just catch some big ones and it's a lot of fun so now let's give my boy john cruz a little bit of love this is like everybody's favorite crankbait everybody loves throwing this thing the color i got right here is root beer chartreuse but this is the spro little john the regular one got the circuit board bill you know dives gets down to depth really really fast but it has kind of a tighter wobble it still has a good bit of thump but it doesn't have like a super wide wobble like the fat papa 55 or like a normal 1.5 square bill it's got a little bit tighter of a wobble that imitates those shad a little bit better like i said one of my one, one of my latest videos those shad don't create a ton of thump they're not very erratic they almost glide through the water you want something that gets their attention when you're throwing an artificial bait but you don't want something that has so much uh, thump to it that it doesn't actually imitate shad very well so the spro little john the original one that's one of the best crankbaits for throwing in the fall and i never go fishing without having a square bill tied on throw that on 12 or 10 pound sunline sniper or sunline shooter i prefer the shooter seven foot one cranking envy and then a 6.6 to one or seven to one gear ratio 13 fishing inception so that's why i'll be throwing that on that's my that's my fall baits that i like the absolute most if i was going anywhere in the country right now i would definitely have all five of these tied on at all times so hope y'all enjoyed that video let me know if y'all have something that y'all deviate away from what i'm using just let me know because that's how we get better how we learn what are y'all's favorite fall baits that's mine if you have not subscribed hit that subscribe button 35 percent of y'all are not subscribed so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's help the channel grow so appreciate it guys see y'all the next one